How do we power ourselves in the future? This is not a question we can put off for another day. The answer is we will have to develop policies that will reshape our economy. Agencies like the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum are looking for answers. They hope to expand opportunities in renewable power, reduce greenhouse gases, and bring government, business, and communities together to find solutions. It's important for all of us. Oil is not going to be around forever. We know it's going to go away. Is it going to be 50 years, 100 years? It's, it's going to go away. Uh, so we need to be thinking now what the next picture will look like for our energy. Most people think our economy is based on tourism, but it's actually based on oil. Um, oil is really, though, the oxygen to our economy. It is everything we do, from food to uh, transit to, you know, keeping the lights on. It all comes back to oil. Every plane that lands in the islands, every car on the road, our home electricity, even our ability to eat depends on fossil fuels. Those fossil fuels are the leading cause of climate change and the heating of our planet. Our dependence also makes our state vulnerable to any disruptions in the supply of oil. We need to make voluntary changes to our social climate the way we live in Hawaii or will be forced to do so. Whether you believe in the science of global warming, our state is in severe danger because of our dependence on oil. So we wind up being 100% dependent on, on oil for transportation, ground transportation, marine transportation, jet fuel. Just about every form of movement in the islands depends on the use of oil. We have designed communities around getting in our cars and driving. As long as we continue this way of life, we set ourselves up for problems. The solution, as a society, we need to develop policies that will encourage government, industry, and consumers to all work together. We're in a very particularly problematic situation because we're so dependent on oil, and at the present time we have so few alternatives. We keep making gas guzzlers, um, we're not going to get anywhere because I think people are going to be demanding um, new, uh, cleaner types of technologies, more efficient technologies, and we should recognize that and, and um, have that as part of our economic development strategy. Congestion, high gas prices, and pollution are the reality we live with every day. Future transportation decisions need to take into account not only just how we get from point A to point B, but what powers us there. Light rail or more roads may reduce our time in our cars, but they will both use imported oil. Instead of looking to build more, we need to design more efficient ways of moving. We're gonna have to make some changes pretty quick, um, but those changes are largely positive for uh, our quality of life and for our economy. We are all familiar with the polluting power of our transportation choices, but they aren't the biggest polluters. Huge amounts of greenhouse gases put into the air comes from the buildings that we live and work in. Each electronic device consumes energy when it's on and when it's off. The millions of devices combined are energy monsters. Put them in our energy inefficient buildings and we are not only contributing to global warming, we are wasting money. Has economic development trumped the nature of our environment? With an economy based on our environment, can we sustain what makes Hawaii, Hawaii? Our challenge is going to be to just protect and save what we, what we can here. Burning fossil fuels like oil for energy and transportation creates greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, which are contributing to global climate change. For Hawaii, it not only affects our physical environment, it affects our social environment. With our economy based on imported oil, rising costs affect every part of our lives. Our economy is based on the importation of fossil fuels. As supplies go down and competition rise for the scarce resources, we're extremely vulnerable. So when oil, which is insecure, oil which is polluting when you burn it in order to produce energy, and oil for which you have no idea what you're going to be paying for 
over the next years uh, is uh, so potentially devastating to an economy like Hawaii that we all need to be really concerned about it. Most isolated populated landmass in the world. You know, I think in many ways most of us enjoy that and, and that that's part of what we love about this place. Uh, but it also has consequences in terms of supply line. This just um, web of uh, interdependencies on getting this, you know, life-sustaining resource to Hawaii. Uh, and it makes us very vulnerable.